Heavenly Father, I come before you this morning with a heart filled with reverence, faith, and expectation. I thank you for this new day, for the breath in my lungs, and for the countless blessings that you have already poured into my life. You are the Almighty God, the Creator of heaven and earth, and I am grateful to be called your child. It is in the powerful name of Jesus Christ, my Savior, that I come to you today, lifting up my prayers and my hopes. Lord, as I rise to face this day, I stand firm in the truth that no matter what has happened or what challenges I face, it's still going to happen. The promises you have spoken over my life will come to pass. Every word that you have whispered to my heart, every dream that you have planted within my spirit, every plan that you have purposed for me, it will happen. Because you are faithful. Your word does not return void. So is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. Isaiah 55, 11. I cling to this truth, Lord, as I wait with patience and trust. Father, there have been moments when I've questioned the timing. There have been seasons of waiting, of uncertainty, and even moments of doubt. I confess those times to you, Lord, knowing that in my human frailty, I often struggle with patience and faith. But today, I declare that ah, it's still going to happen. I declare that every promise you have made to me will come to fulfillment in your perfect time. Help me to trust in your timing, Lord, because your ways are higher than my ways, and your thoughts are higher than my thoughts. Isaiah 55, 9 Lord, I thank you that even when things seem delayed or when circumstances don't look like what I expected, you are still working behind the scenes. Just because I don't see the answer yet doesn't mean that you have forgotten me. I know that you are a God of process and preparation and that you are making all things ready for the fulfillment of what you have promised. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. 2 Peter 3 9. Thank you for your patience, and thank you for teaching me to wait in faith. Father, I ask for renewed strength as I wait for the fulfillment of your promises. Sometimes the waiting feels long and I grow weary. Sometimes the path you have set before me is filled with obstacles that seem insurmountable. But I know that you have given me the strength to endure. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Isaiah 40, 31 Lord, I ask for that renewal today. Give me the endurance I need to keep walking in faith, knowing that thus it's still going to happen. Lord, I declare this over every area of my life, over my family, my career, my health, my relationships, and the calling you have placed on my life. I declare that it's still going to happen. Even when circumstances seem impossible or when the odds seem stacked against me, I know that with you all things are possible. Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Matthew 19.26 
Thank you for reminding me that you are the God of the impossible and that you specialize in bringing things to fruition that seemed unattainable. Father, I thank you for the times in my life when you have already shown me your faithfulness. I can look back on my journey and see the many times when you fulfilled your promises, even when it seemed unlikely. You have come through for me before, and I know that you will come through for me again. You are the same God, yesterday, today, and forever. You are unchanging, and your faithfulness endures through all generations. Psalm 105 Thank you for being a God who is trustworthy and true. Lord, help me to keep my eyes focused on you, especially when the enemy tries to discourage me. There are moments when doubt creeps in, when fear whispers that the promise will never come to pass, or when impatience tempts me to take matters into my own hands. But I know that your plans are perfect and I refuse to let doubt or fear steal the joy of the journey you have me on. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 27, 1 Let my faith in you be unshakable, and let my trust in your goodness be steadfast. Father, I pray for the courage to continue stepping forward in faith, even when I don't have all the answers. Help me to trust that you are guiding me, even when I can't see the full picture. For we walk by faith, not by sight. 2 Corinthians 5, 7 Let my life be a testimony of walking in faith, trusting in your promises, and believing that when it's still going to happen, Despite the challenges I face, you are working all things together for my good. And I trust you with every detail of my life. Lord, I also pray for peace in the waiting. There is a peace that comes from knowing that you are in control. That you have everything under your sovereign hand. Let that peace guard my heart and mind as I continue to trust in you. And the peace of God which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4.7 Let me rest in that peace, knowing that you are orchestrating every step and that your timing is always perfect. Father, I pray for others who may be in their own seasons of waiting, whether they are waiting for a breakthrough a healing, a restoration, or the fulfillment of a dream, I ask that you would fill their hearts with hope. Let them know that why it's still going to happen, that your promises are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. 2 Corinthians 1.20 Encourage them, Lord, and give them the strength to keep trusting in you, even when the wait feels long or difficult. Let us encourage one another in the faith, reminding each other of your goodness and faithfulness. Lord, as I walk through this day, let this declaration be on my lips. It's still going to happen. Let this be my anthem of faith, my song of trust, and my reminder that you are working all things together for my good. No matter what comes my way, No matter what challenges I face, I will stand firm in the knowledge that your promises are true and that you are faithful to fulfill every word you have spoken. Father, I thank you for what you are going to do. I thank you in advance for the breakthroughs, the victories and the miracles that are on the way. I thank you for the promises that are already on their way to fulfillment and I choose to walk in faith and patience as I wait for them to come to pass. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, 
for he who promised is faithful. Hebrews 10.23 I hold on to this hope, knowing that it's still going to happen. Because you are faithful, I offer this prayer in the powerful name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Amen. We believe this prayer has added virtue to your faith and is already active in your life. We invite you to share your response by commenting, Amen. Your engagement is more than just support. It's a way to spread hope and faith. If you feel inspired, please share this video with your friends and family. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily prayers that uplift and inspire. Your involvement is invaluable to us. We also welcome your prayer request. Feel free to leave them in the comments. And together, as a community, we will bring them before God. Your faith and our collective prayers can create a powerful force for blessings and victory. Remember, you're not just a viewer. You're a vital part of this journey of faith. Each like, share, and subscription helps us reach more hearts every day. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ accompany you always.